Hey yo, what's going on Sammy Nation, it's Sammy here and welcome back to a brand new video where today I'm going to be showing you guys a really really uh, OP iron farm and um, this is actually really really simple to build so as you can see um, it does give you a lot of XP first off and um, it is like really really nice looking too and yeah it actually makes a lot of iron as you can see by the amount of input output chests and stuff that are already full and this has been running for let's say like seven minutes now and it's been doing me great yeah before we get into the video make sure you guys smash like and subscribe with the notification bell turn on so you never miss another brand new video on the channel and remember to join my discord server to keep updated with giveaways and lots and lots of other things too statistics show only 25 percent of you guys are subscribed or 20 percent so if we could bump those numbers up that would be great for the community us and just all of us in general and uh yeah without further ado let's get straight into the video so what you're gonna need for this is you're gonna need 24 iron totems, 4 coal totems, no, 8 coal totems, sorry, 8 smelters, around 28 or so conveyors. Input output chests are optional, you can just use industrial chests, and if you are going to need um, industrial chests, you're going to need 4 of them, and you're going to need blocks and glass, which all of us probably have. So, um, yeah, as you see, it is running behind me, it's running smoothly, it's running nicely, and there's only a little bit of iron escaping, but we can fix that pretty easily. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and tear this thing down and uh, we can get to building it. Alright guys, so as you can see, the entire thing is down and now we're ready to build. So what we're going to start off by doing is by um, placing our furnaces just like so. And um, we're going to place one facing this way with a one block gap and one facing this way. Then we're going to place three conveyors just behind it like this. And then three conveyors behind it this way. And then we're going to put... Three iron totems just on the side like that and then one coal totem at the back and again on the other side three iron totems and one coal totem. Now this is pretty much the whole setup but what we're going to do now is um, we're going to get started on the storage system before stuff starts overflowing. So we're going to place one conveyor after everything and then place um, two input upper chests and then a medium chest just like that. And then you want to repeat the same on the other side like my friend is doing here. And this is a one layer of the farm. So now I'm going to get my stone bricks. So let me get those. The bricks. Nice. And what we're going to do now is we're going to build up from um, the corner here. So if we just go up like this. We're going to go up four blocks. And then we're going to place two blocks along. And we're going to like kind of mirror the bottom. So simply just by placing stone bricks like this and um, you want to do the same on the other side just by simply connecting it up and um, yeah so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of flip it around so as you can see this the smelter on this side is down here and the smelter is like that up there and we're just simply turning it around so that it like alternates each side and it looks really really cool now i've kind of fallen off so don't fall off like me let's go ahead and place the smelter so i think it's right there right yep perfect and then yeah you just want to repeat this pattern so let's go ahead and just keep repeating it now i've got enough smelters to repeat it four times so that's what i'm going to do you want it as much as possible so you have as much iron producing as possible now um here's something i want to address right now so you're probably wondering why we have only three totems well that is because um the more iron totems you have the less iron you're probably going to make now that is because of the uh, block limit and stuff So I've accidentally made mine uh, two blocks too big, so I've just really quickly destroyed it and fixed it. So now it's perfect. Now if you fall off, it's quite hard to get up, so I recommend you have some slabs or ladders.
all right guys so now that uh, our actual farm is done what we need to do is we need to contain all of the iron that is falling down now how we're going to do that is by simply getting glass pillars around us so let's quickly grab ourselves some glass if i can enter the search bar there we go so what we're going to do is we're going to make a straight pillar up in front of this conveyor here right next to the conveyor actually so like this the straight pillar up as far as you can go up to um the final smelter right there and then you want to do the same on the other side too and then pillar up on the final little bit if you don't have enough glass what you can do is stop here but it does look a bit worse so um you can only go up to here if you have little glass but if you have enough glass then you can just go up and yeah you want to do this on both sides just so no iron gets wasted and falls out now my friend has the rest of the glass so he can do this one but yeah that is the entire build as you can see it looks very nice it looks very clean and um it's probably producing us a lot of iron now you'll probably notice that you get coal but that is because of this coal totem here now if you don't want that um you can extend the uh conveyor by one or block it out with some glass or something like that but to me i don't really mind it because i don't have my own coal farm um yeah as you can see we are producing a lot of iron already and this is actually super super efficient so um yeah thank you for watching leave a like on the video if this did help you out remember to join my discord server too and um subscribe with notification bell turn on so you never miss another epic brand new video on the channel um statistics show only 20 percent of you guys are subscribed so if you could pop those numbers up that would be great and um ow, i just whacked my desk that wasn't very comfortable but um yeah thank you for watching um thank you to my friend for helping me out and um yeah i hope to see you all in the next one goodbye